This video discusses the AFFF class action MDL, where we are today in the litigation, and what we can expect in 2024 in this litigation. Our prediction is that the AFFF lawsuits settle in 2024. We will explain why. AFFF firefighting foam has been used for decades to put out fires fueled by accelerants like gasoline. AFFF foam contained very high levels of chemicals known as PFAs or forever chemicals. Recent research has shown that PFAs are highly toxic and long-term exposure to these chemicals can cause certain types of cancer. The types of cancer that have been linked to AFFF exposure include kidney, pancreatic, prostate, and testicular cancer. Individuals who regularly used or worked around AFFF foam and were subsequently diagnosed with one of these types of cancer are now bringing product liability lawsuits against the companies that manufactured AFFF foam, such as 3M and DuPont. Many local governments have also brought lawsuits against AFFF manufacturers, alleging that the chemicals in firefighting foam contaminated their water supplies. All of these lawsuits were consolidated into a class action MDL in South Carolina back in 2018. In August 2023, a global settlement was reached for billions of dollars in many water contamination cases brought by local governments with these same defendants within the same class action. Most firefighting foam victims were both excited and annoyed at this news. Why did the water contamination cases settle for billions when my case remains unresolved? It's frustrating. But now the focus of the MDL is beginning to shift to resolving the cases brought by victims who developed cancer from occupational exposure to AFFF. Earlier this week, the MDL judge issued a new case management order outlining the schedule for the path for the first bellwether test trials in the AFFF cancer cases. A group of 28 cancer cases will be selected this month to go through case-specific fact discovery. Once that's finished, a handful of these cases will then be selected for bellwether test trials. There's a strong possibility that we could see a global settlement for the cancer cases before we get any test trials. Our legal team anticipates that the majority of these lawsuits will be settled by the defendants in 2024 before we get to those bellwether trials. Why? Well, in most cases, you really don't have a roadmap for how the defendants will respond to the pressure of a trial. Here we do. In the water contamination lawsuits, these same defendants race to the settlement table, offering settlements amounting to billions rather than facing the uncertainties of trials. We see the same pattern here. The defendants will prefer to settle the firefighting foam lawsuits to avoid the risk of extremely high jury awards. Currently, as we progress towards individual trials in the firefighting foam cases, our lawyers believe this mounting pressure will compel the defendants to reach a settlement agreement in 2024. It's likely not too late to file your own AFFF lawsuit. If you were exposed to firefighting foam and subsequently developed kidney, pancreatic, lymphoma, testicular, or prostate cancer, contact our office today at 800-553-8082.